Hello from Wandering Wanda, I'm Ariel, and today we are heading off to Paso Robles in California. So we've got Wanda here, parked at our one bedroom condo here in Las Vegas. So it's a beautiful sunset. And this is our spot right here. Look at this. I chose this spot. <laughs> Far away from the next neighbor and there's a good 25 feet, 20 feet between the two rigs. We just bought five little bottles of olive oil. From that store called We Olive. And we are now headed down the street to have Mexican food. Now, what makes a boutique upscale? They charge more. It looks like a regular Chachki store. It's like a used Chachki store. having lunch and at the same time doing a little bit of wine tasting I think <laughs> I thought I was having splint pea this is lentil soup it's good it kind of tastes like minestrone I have salmon we got bread Walter's having chili homemade chili beans and lasagna so far, this is good, even though it's not what I thought it was. They said lentil, he heard split pea. Sometimes when they Sitting we're all sitting. We're all sitting down. You need a charger?
No. It's cool. I've never gone wine tasting up, up Haven't you? Up here. Oh, well, God, we're going to convert you. Oh, no, I've gone wine tasting. Oh, okay. oh up here. I've given my brother-in-law... We alcohol went to, poisoning? Alcohol poisoning. Oh. We went to 12 wineries. Oh, my goodness. In, in one, one day. day. In one day? And back then, they were doing half glass tastings. Yes. Oh, my God. And I, I don't understand. He's 6'4". Freaking lightweight. He's like, what? I had to bring my husband to the emergency and get his stomach pumped because you gave him too much. It's like, you know what? I didn't get food. I woke up fine the next day. I took an aspirin. You're lucky. Yeah, it's all of a sudden. You don't have to be a car book, that's what. And if we want you to sign it, how much is that? That's about a thousand bucks. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll give you a break. But we, My statue will give you a break. We, 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 we understand I'll sign it for you. The, the relative value of each of you. Okay. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, you fit the Cheers, Cheers. We are here at Paso Robles with the Airstream of Las Vegas, our St. Patrick's Day rally, and we have been wine tasting for the past several days. And um, let's see, would we stay at this park again? I would say no. The park is lovely. There's no trash anywhere. Wi-Fi signal is decent. Um, I haven't seen any of the restrooms. I haven't seen the laundry room. We now have our own washer dryer. Uh, we don't really use pool facilities. So, other than the lovely setting, I would not stay at this park again. Two reasons. When I initially booked the RV park, the woman on the phone, oh yeah, there is someone here to help you. And I was like, are you sure? It's like, oh yeah, they're here, they're here. Well, we checked in quarter to five. I did my best to get here quarter to five. And because I didn't want them telling me that no, the person that helps you back up already went home. So, we broke, we left at nine, Las Vegas, got here, Paso Robles, quarter to five. And then she says, oh, well, well, let me see if I can get a ranger. So I guess that's what they call their help here to come help you but can't you do it yourself it's i'm looking at her going no i specifically called and asked someone here at your park that there is someone here to help me navigate backwards and they assured me that there would be and now you're telling me there may not be someone here it's like well i don't know if he's gonna pick up or not it's like no you don't tell someone over the telephone months ago and tell them that there, yes, there is definitely someone here. And when you get here, it's a, oh, maybe. No, that's not the right thing to say. You say the maybe? 
before you even book. Okay, the other thing also that I don't like about this. So if you're trying to call the front desk from your site, forget it. You're not gonna get any, any answers, let alone, yeah, you're just not gonna get any answers. So because of those two reasons, I will not stay in this park again. It's a lovely park. Their customer service sucks. They don't have one. So they know how to maintain a good park, but as far as, it's like a restaurant. Food may be excellent, but if the waiters and waitresses don't serve you, they come drop off your food and that's it, you're not gonna go back to that restaurant. Same with this place. Because of their horrid customer service, we will not be back here unless it's another rally. But if we were to come here on our own, no, I would not. So, no on this RV park. All right, thanks for watching, bye. Where? Paso, Paso Old? Yeah, it is. Well, let's go down the stop sign and then we'll go back. this butter cookie cookie factory <gasps> Justin Justin has his own place <laughs>